The first match for 2020 was also the first time a Super City derby had been played at Seddon Fields as Waitakere and Auckland City kicked off the new year. Auckland City are unbeaten in the competition this season and Paul Hobson's Waitakere side were looking to be the first team to inflict defeat on their crosstown rivals. However, 20 minutes in, it was the visitors that drew first blood. Alfie Rogers had been given a rare start by Jose Ferreira and it was his run all the way to the six-yard box that eventually led to Dylan Manikin poking the ball home at the back post. Maya Bevan was unlucky to put his shot against the post, but that left Manikin with a simple finish. Ten minutes later, Waitakere thought they'd drawn level, but their celebrations were cut short by the upraised flag of the official on the far side. Cam Howison has been one of the league's standout players to date, and his goal five minutes before half-time was a terrific piece of combination play between himself, Manikin and Bevan. City took their 2-0 lead into the break. Into the second half, and Manikin was causing the Waitakere defence all sorts of problems. His strike was well saved by Nick Draper and the frame of the goal. But then another slick passing combination pulled the home side's defence apart, and Rogers laid on a measured cross for Manikin to nod home his second. Auckland City were threatening to run riot. But Waitakere were not going to lie down easily. Dane Schnell has been one of Waitakere's most effective players, and when Jared Gariga Gibbet pounced on Brian Caltech's miscontrol, Schnell was on hand to drive home his fourth for the season. 3 1, but Waitakere at least were showing some fight. Auckland City continued to put Waitakere under pressure. Maya Bevan was having more influence on the game, but Nick Draper was performing heroics to keep the ball out of his goal. He could do nothing though when Bevan was given enough time and space on the edge of the box to pick his spot and make it 4-1. The Waitakere resistance was fading, and with gaps appearing at the back, Clayton Lewis was allowed to control in the box and poke home. His first goal for the Navy Blues since his return from the UK. Seven minutes from time, Waitakere mustered a consolation. A lovely turn in the box by teenage debutant Rehan Carlson de Toy beat Mario Bielan, and he picked his spot past Connor Tracy. It was just time for substitute Maro Bonsamaro to leap high and head home in front of the rampaging Adam Mitchell to complete the scoring. A 6-2 mauling by Auckland City, meaning Waitakere have not won in their last six outings and are slipping quickly down the competition ladder. Obviously, yeah, back in the new year and obviously a great start. Awesome to get the three points that we're happy about. And um, hopefully we can kick on next week. And, um, you know, so it was a great performance from the team and happy to score six goals out there. But obviously not so happy with the two, but uh, some went to work, work for next weekend.